So it is time to try out the man, the myth, the legend, LR Ultimate Beast Gohan in the new Red Zone stage. Uh, we're running double Ultimate Gohan here. And we're just going to have some fun. Uh, the Dragon Ball Super Gohan, of course. I think that he could actually be, be good here. But we'll see, right? The first phase is Ince. The second phase is physical though so i'm not sure how he's gonna handle the stage without his guard ability but let's just hop in i do like the rotations we have so at least that's a good thing um and we'll get the intros for gamma one and ultimate gohan right here <laughs> Okay, I do like the ultimate Gohan animations though. They are very very good So Hmm, how should we handle this? I mean I could do this We do lose shocking speed because okay ultimate Gohan the thing about him is that he does have the 50% chance to nullify key blast supers Which is really good But we do also want gamma one to take some attacks here Hmm, how's the key? We can get a good amount of key with you. Um, I think we'll let Gamma One go in slot one. Though I think I do want to build him up, and we can get much more key with Ultimate Gohan in slot two. So I think that is the correct play right here. Plus, Ultimate Gohan before it gets any build up, he will take damage from these normals even with his guard. So especially if he doesn't like nullify the super attack i think he might take potentially a little more damage than gamma one would well it's an instant super i was thinking like gamma one maybe if he took a few attacks more oh but we got the dodge the dodge build came in clutch right here very very nice ah yeah maybe ultimate go would have been a better slot one unit so i guess at the end of the day the the play worked out because Obviously, you know, full dodge primacy with Gamma 1 right here. Let's go. Um, well, actually, he's at full dodge, but he has a good amount of dodge in him. And we see right there, he worked out. We dodged the super and we're gaming. Um, that might have, like, literally saved the run right here for us, right? Now, Ultimate Gohan can come in. He is getting 50% support from Pan, by the way. This is a Raymu one. He has a lot of attack equips as well. Keep that in mind. We missed the 70% chance, but it would be the hidden potential. It did go off here, so that's good. Okay. I really wish we could have gotten the triple super. The thing about Ultimate Gohan here is that he can basically wipe away the first phase very quickly. And, you know, it, it is possible that in the second, like, phase, we will be able to have one of the Ultimate Gohan's guards still up, which would be really good for us. Uh, Pan not dodging here. Thank you, Pan. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, at least she wasn't taking too much damage. And I guess one thing I should point out as well is we're on the full superhero setup, so we can get the um, what's the word? Ooh, I like I kind of like the key here, so mm, we'll grab. I mean, I can grab this, and then all the physical orbs could fall down. But I think it's better if I do this. I'll give this to Ultimate Gohan. I uh, see we can't get the um, we can't get like a huge super attack like I wanted to get. So if I, oh well, it's fine, it's fine. He'll still get an 18 key, but we won't get the additional at 20 key, which does suck a little. But it is what it is. We definitely need the blues in slot one though. That's important. But um, we could get the active skill again. And now Orange Piccolo, he's going to be able to actually get all the attacks he needs to build up right here, which is going to be helpful. Yeah, you see, like, the effect without any support or, like, all in the family, right? 80k from the first normal. Oh, you know what I just realized? We don't have a future Saga ally. Oh, my goodness. We don't have a future Saga ally. Well, so, these guys, I forgot about that. They need a future Saga ally for them to get their guard and the extra defense. <laughs> so, I mean, if they don't die, if they don't dodge here, we're just straight up dead, right? Dang, okay. Yeah, that, that is a that is an L on my end. A huge, just like L 
they have to dodge every single attack or else we just die, right? Yeah. Oh my goodness, how did I mess that up? Okay, who do I um who's who do I bring instead of them? I just saw them and I was like, you know, yeah, they're a guarding slot one unit, but duh, I obviously forgot that they do um <laughs> they do need okay, so we still got that same ultimate Gohan. I guess who do who do we even bring, man? I can't bring the blue fusion. This that that's the issue. It's like the last unit is kind of weird. Unless I take off seventeen and I put like I don't know Vegeta and Trunks, I guess, or a blue go this age of Gogeta. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of who to just rock here in the other rotation. Actually, I'm unsure. Let me. Do I run this STR Rage Trunks? Maybe he could be a solid option. But let me let me look at let me look at the team again and just we'll hop back in. I just said it. We'll just bring S tier Gogeta Blue. We'll we'll see how things go. I have the sense to be um. We'll see if he could work out. I guess right. <laughs> um, these rotations are fine. Actually, Orange Piccolo in slot seven is interesting, but definitely not the worst ever. And I think we'll keep the rotations as we did previously. Okay, well, maybe I'll put Ultimate Gohan in the first slot this time. Yeah, yeah. I think I'll put Ultimate Gohan here. And I think that should be okay. We're getting a lot of support here. No on the family, but around the same defensive level. We'll grab this, and then 17 can get this here. Okay. Hopefully, we can see maybe the Key Blast nullification if he wants to instantly super us. Uh, it seems not. Okay, that's fine, though. So, Gamma 1 is going to take this first normal. That'll definitely do some damage. 17 will take some damage here, but I think we should be good after this. Yeah, because Gamma wanted getting the super attack off first for the defense. I think he needed that more than Ultimate Gohan did. So that's why I put Ultimate Gohan in the first slot right there. And okay, that's good. That's good. And 17 should be fine once he super attacks too, which is really nice. Awesome. Okay, we got the triple super attack here. So we're able to get uh, just a pretty good amount of damage just straight away. Like two health bars overtaken already. That's good to see. Again, Zamasu does like reduce damage that does under 1.5 million to zero right so if we don't do 1.5 million damage as a monster we would actually end up doing zero damage gamma 2 is um not gamma 2 gamma 1 is almost fully built up here so he should eat this pretty well especially because in the middle he would does also have the android assault link which would give him an extra 20 percent defensive buff which is nice to see right uh, that's why i like running 17 with like the gammas on the team 17 is able to work quite well and if we stay at this hp level we'll be able to consistently be looking good up uh, okay how to do this <laughs> what if i just rock pan slot one like would that work out like if it just rock pan and slot one here I can grab that. Again, the issue is Gogeta. Like, that normal would hurt him quite a bit. Um, I'll use the Sensu just, just for funsies, right? Because uh, Gogeta Blue, yeah, the issue is that the Blue Fusion's dodge does not activate until after the um, pan with the dodge right there is looking really good, by the way. The Blue Fusion's dodge doesn't activate until after the attack. So that AoE Blue Gogeta is just going to eat, right? He's just going to eat that AoE, um, which is, you know, a little unfortunate. But yeah, 400k. Whew. We need Pan to dodge this, right? Pan, you got this, right? I trust you. Thank you, Pan. Okay. I think we should be good after this because Blue Gogeta will be getting the guaranteed double super. And we should be cooking. Ultimate Gohan is going to start building up here. And then starting for the next turn, we can use the active skills. We can... I mean, we could pop Orange Piccolo instantly, which is really funny, but yeah, I think I must save the other Ultimate Gohan's active skill, though, um, until we actually really, really need to use it. Gamma 1 is almost fully built up, too. Okay. Yeah, we're doing, we do quite a lot of damage right there, which is helpful. And I think at this point, we should be good. Yeah, I'm not seeing where we're going to have a lot of issues. We want Orange Piccolo to build up a little. But I'm going to kind of miss key with him so I can let the other ultimate Gohan do some damage. But I do want to keep the active skill for the next phase so we could like disable an attack, right? Because the active skill does disable an attack, right? Which is really, really good. Double dodge from Gogeta Blue. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, we're looking good here. 
I am liking how things are going so far. We'll go ahead and... I guess we'll just take this down. I would love to heal, but that's not really going to be a huge thing. I mean, I could just use the sense to be and we're good, right? So why not? I mean, at this point, I already used the item. I feel like the point is to see how Ultimate Gohan's going to be able to do, um, which is fine, right? I mean, in this situation, the item usage was because of the Gogeta unit and not Ultimate Gohan. So that's why it's not like a big deal if you're like someone who's like, yeah, I, I want to see what these characters are doing without items. Now, hopefully Piccolo doesn't crit here. I mean, he has 30 crits, so it's likely he just crits and finishes things off, right? Yeah. Okay, Piccolo. I didn't really want that to happen, but it is what it is at this point, right? Okay. Ooh, well, now 17. Uh, we're going to have to... Do I trust Pan or 17 more? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know who I'm going to trust more, but let's at least use this. So we should get almost his full passive now. Let me actually check. What is a Samasu super attack chance? Is it very high? 17%. Mm. Most of the attacks are in the back. So we nullify the first attack, right? 17 would still get creamed. These normal stick too hard. I think we have to have Pan there for the dodge. I think Pan has to dodge. 17 against the normals. With just a 17% reduction. I don't think that's enough. Because <laughs> Fusions of Monster is for 700k normals. Which is just absolutely ludicrous. That amount of damage on normal attacks. It's just crazy. That damage. So we need Pan to dodge. If Pan doesn't dodge. Uh, it'll be in trouble. Okay so 17 mil right here. We are super effective. I mean Ultimate Gohan himself. He's looking good here. And that's a good thing right. He does have his guard active. So, I mean, if you see him tank a super, and then he triple supers, and he's just cooking, I mean, that, that looks really good, right? And this is a full uh, attack equip one. Okay. Is he going to live this? I, I'm pretty sure he does live this, obviously, with the guard. I'm pretty sure he's still guarding. Yeah. I mean, he eats that with the guard very, very well. And the thing is that these are short fights, right? So, because of these short fights, we're able to take a pretty good advantage of... Um, Please dodge all of them, Pan. Please dodge all of them, Pan. We're going to wait and see. Pan, dodge all of them. One more Pan. Okay, thank you, Pan. Pan cooked right there. Okay, and we get Blue Gogeta as well. Okay, that's really, really nice. So, yeah. I think we're... We basically win. Um, That super attack hits really hard. Almost over 2 million. So, it is good to see, you know, Ultimate Gohan with this guard if he's able to cook. Now, this Ultimate Gohan does not have his guard up anymore. But we have a couple of effects we can use here. So... Let's go ahead and play this out right here. Bam. Ultimate Gohan with the extra damage here. Um, If we use Orange Piccolo, we can get Blue Gogeta's active skill. And he could, like, really show off. So, we'll go ahead and do that. Obviously, it's um, it's the Ultimate Gohan showcase. So, I'm going to try and set up key for him in a way. And I'll just skip the Orange Piccolo form because it's not really a showcase for him specifically. Uh, Yeah, we'll just grab those. We'll try to save the physical orbs. What about that? So... Let me skip ahead. Um, obviously, I mean, Orange Piccolo. And, like, he, he's really good, obviously, but it's kind of, like, boring to sit through Orange Piccolo every time, right? And so, I don't want to put you all through that. All right, so that ended. Um, We can't even use the active skill with Gogeta Blue still. <laughs> Again, this is the Ultimate Gohan Showcase, so we'll just hold back on Piccolo right here. That's okay. We'll grab this with you. Uh, you know, I just realized that yeah, Gogeta Blue can't use his active because it's the turn after he transforms. Silly me. But um, we should be good here. We'll see Ultimate Gohan cook a little, right? And I think that's the important thing, right? Well, the point of the showcase is for Ultimate Gohan to cook. Orange Piccolo. Um, he's kind of like a key batter for Gohan, I guess, in this situation, right? So, I mean, he's so additional super right there. Looking pretty good. 
8.6 on the 12 key, I'll take that, right? Um, dude, yeah, Orange Piccolo can cook for sure, but Ultimate go on here. I mean, this is 12 million, a uh, minus 90% no attack equips, and then he's super effective, and he could do two more, which is pretty solid, right, for sure. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I like that quite a bit, right, overall. It's, it's looking good. It's funny, because I, I guess to be fair, you could be like, well, you said Orange Piccolo's 8 million is actually really good. It's like, fair, fair enough, but, uh, yeah, 130k normals, yeah. If you get to a situation where his guard runs out, he could take a lot of damage, but being fair against 700k normals is pretty tough to take, like, double digits from, from a lot of these units who... Like before this kind of red zone came out where it's like, you know, 500k defense, you're cooking, right? Also, it depends on like support and stuff like that, right? Um, so, yeah, I, I, I think that Ultimate Gohan can really cook here, though. He did look good. You could like nullify the super attack even. You could nullify the AOE even in like one of the final phases. So, I, I do I do like him quite a bit in this like shorter content where he is able to keep his guard and stuff like that. This is my fastest run technically, so... There you go. Thanks y'all for watching. And of course, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.